Ladies and gentlemen, it is your host, Joshua Sanders, Torrey Wilson, and Dylan Deppersmith. And you're back to Studio H. Today's video is sponsored by Fuego Hot Chips in the H2O, because you know we got to keep that water on us. And so today we're going to go over a little overview of girls' tennis, girls' golf, and cross country. And we got some highlights and reviews and interviews for you. So tune in. Next up, we'll have our homecoming pep assembly and our winners, including DJ. Um, we also have some powder puff highlights, and we also have some funny questions coming up for you. Our next show is October 11th or 8th hour. Don't you dare miss it. Um, there was interest in, um, from a couple of different golfers that they wanted to have a team, and um, Coach Yeager came to me and asked if I'd be willing to do it, and said, of course, and it's kind of how we got things rolling. Uh, yeah, we've got um, a pretty young team. Uh, we've only got one junior. Uh, we have two sophomores and two freshmen. Um, so we're young, but we're still learning. We're working, and it's kind of how things have been. They're a fun group. We have, um, tomorrow we have a tournament at Sims, and we have our last tournament here uh, next Monday on the 7th at Sims again, so come on out. Um, and then after the after that, we're just going to be recruiting, trying to build for next year. Football game last week? Yeah, the one we were playing North. Yeah, the one that's on YouTube, of which Heights Media. Please follow us. Please. No, no, I'm talking real football. What could be more than real nut football? Powder puff. Go get her! I'm Coach McMillan. I coach cross country. Things are going well. Uh, we're about midway through the season, so things are really starting to wake up. Everyone's getting PRs more frequently. Uh, they're bettering themselves every week. Our team's a family, I think, because the team is a, its a smaller team. Everyone is sharing the same battle. We all run 5K. We all do the same workouts. It's JV and Varsity go on the same day to the same meet. We all get to just be a part of it at the same time. So it's not really one person's any different than the other. Um, so it, it really creates a, a good balance between everybody. Cross country is a, a great way to one, stay in shape. Um, also running is a lifetime sport. You don't need a, you don't need a, a field or a sanctioned event necessarily to, to do it. You can, you can, you just need shoes and a road and you can, you can run. I'm Deja Fanning and I do cross country. I feel like they can be better. Like, I know there's like always something I can always improve on. Like, I like to just think about like what I could have done better and like what I can do to get there. I want to be able to like get first place at at least one meet or make it to state, period. Just that. I run because it's like a stress reliever for real. Like, running just like takes away everything. Like, it just. When I'm running, plus it's an individual thing, like it's all on me, like I ain't gotta worry about a team, none of that stuff, it's just all on me, and that's why I like it.
Are you looking for your fall homecoming pictures? If so, check out heights.smugmug.com to be able to purchase them. If you're interested in more school event pictures, then check it out throughout the year. Right now we are in City League action. We're two and six. We beat West and we beat North. Everyone else we've lost to. Southeast, we lost 5-4. The girls haven't won a lot of matches. The tournaments we took last, the, the tournaments we've been to. Hopefully Saturday, City League will beat some of the other schools. Number one is Kylie Fujinuma. Uh, number two is Brooklyn Conradi. Number three is Ellie Rimshizel. Four is Jenna Angel. So those are the top four. Newton, uh, Hutch, Garden City, Dodge City, us. Saturday City League will be tough because you got Capen and Carroll there. Our regionals, we moved up to 6A, so we'll have East, and then some schools we haven't seen. Junction City, Manhattan, Topeka, Washburn Roll, and those, those are all good from what I hear. Uh, hopefully we can gain on, we beat West and North. Uh, the Southeast match was really close. Hopefully we can gain on them. Um, get more points in Southeast. Uh, hopefully we can improve on how we did in duels. M-U-L-Y spells Moly. D-U-L-Y spells Dolly. What does J-U-L-Y spell? Jolie. M-U-L-Y spells Moly. D-U-L-Y spells Dolly. What does J-U-L-Y spell? Jolly. M-U-L-Y spells Moly. D-U-L-Y spells Dolly. What does J-U-L-Y spell? Julie. M-U-L-Y spells Moly. D-U-L-Y spells Dolly. What does J-U-L-Y spell? J-U-L-Y July. All right, a butcher is 5'9". What does he weigh? He's a butcher. I don't know what. The butcher is 5'9". What does he weigh? The butcher is 5'9"? We, butcher. Don't, we don't know how much he weighs. He's 5'9". That's how he's tall a butcher. he is. He's a butcher? Oh, he weighs meat. Yeah. You have five seconds to answer this question. How many stripes are on the American flag? Uh, 50. Yeah. How many stripes are on the American flag? 13. Well, 26. A plane crashes on the U.S.-Canada border. Where are the survivors buried? Underwater. <laughs> <laughs> so a plane crashes on the US Canada border. Where are the survivors buried? Uh, survivors don't get buried. Okay. 30 cows in a field. 28 chickens. How many didn't? Say that again. There's 30 cows in a field. 28 chickens. How many didn't? How many didn't? What does that mean? There's 30 cows what does that mean? in a field. How many didn't? 28 chickens. 28 chickens. How many didn't? If there's 30, how many, 40 cows? Or there's 30 cows 30 in cow the field. <laughs> oh, God. This, this is going back on me. This is not fair. I'm Kate. And I'm Case. And this is this week's event. On Saturday, October 5th at 8 a.m., the Girls Tennis Varsity City League Championships are at Wichita State University. Also at 8 a.m., there will be a JV volleyball tournament at Bishop Carroll. On Monday, October 7th at 4.15 p.m., varsity football, I mean freshman football, will be at Wichita Heights Stadium. And at 5.45 p.m., there will be a JV football game. On Tuesday, October 8th, soccer boys JV game will be at 5 p.m. at Wichita Heights Stadium. Also at 5 p.m., there will be a volleyball freshman, JV, and varsity triangular. And at 7 p.m., another soccer boys varsity game will be at Wichita Heights Stadium. Wednesday, October 9th, at 6 p.m., boys soccer C team will have a game. On Thursday, October 10th, at 7 p.m., there will be a football varsity game at Heights Stadium. And the theme is slumber party, so don't forget to wear your pajamas.